Hello everyone. Welcome you all in my YouTube channel Engineering Guru 2020. In this video, we will learn the new moving diagram for single cylinder double acting steam engine. First of all, understand what is single cylinder double acting steam engine. A double acting cylinder is a cylinder in which the working fluid act alternately on both sides of the pistons means in single cylinder piston is single means one and uh, working fluid act alternately on both sides means from forward direction and backward direction let's see the turning moment diagram for single cylinder double acting steam engine here this is the schematic diagram of single cylinder double acting steam engine on x axis crank angle and y axis vertically turning moment as we know that turning moment t equal to f into r means we have one formula t equal to f p into r into bracket sin theta plus sin 2 theta divided by 2 under wood n square minus sin square theta where f p rebasion piston effort r radius of crank small n ratio of the connecting rod length and radius of the crank and theta angle turn by the crank from the idc the curve represents the turning moment diagram for our stroke in this diagram of single cylinder double acting steam engine we can see that this is the small a b c means it is called our stroke this small a, b and c and the curve c, d, e it is called in stroke. This line is called t min line or we can say min resistance torque line. This point b and point d it is maximum torque and here this is the minimum torque. So this curve c, d, e is somewhat similar to curve A, B, C. The turning moment T is 0 when the crank angle theta equal to 0. Means at this point, the turning moment T is 0 and the crank angle is also 0. It is maximum when the crank angle 90 degree. Means at this point B. And it's again 0 when the crank angle is 180 degree. From this diagram, we can see that the turning moment is 0 at 0 degree, 180 degree and 360 degree and maximum at the point 90 degree at that means point B and at point D means 270 degree. Since the work done is a product of the turning moment and the angle turn so therefore the area of turning moment diagram represent the work done per revolutions. This uh, out stroke is from 0 to 180 degree and in stroke it is from 180 to 360 degree. First open YouTube and write down engineering guru 2020. Search this is engineering guru YouTube channel. Open this and subscribe this for more update. Uh, various playlists available here. You can see. Uh, this is for uh, various subjects. This is for velocity diagram, uniform velocity, for cam profiles, synthetic linkages, and more video, more playlists are here. In actual practice, the engine is assumed work against the main resisting torque, so as shown by horizontal line AF. Here, in this diagram, we can see this AF line. This is called main resistance torque line. So above this T main resistance torque area means capital B, small b and capital C. It represents the excess energy that store in the flywheel. Same that is at point D, small d and point E. So this is excess energy store in the flywheel. The height of the ordinate small a to capital A means this this point small a to a it represents the mean height of the turning moment diagram so it is assumed that the work done by the turning moment per revolution 
is equal to work done against the min resisting top so therefore the area rectangle a capital a f e is proportional to work done against the main resistance torque means this area small a capital a capital f and small e means this area it proportional to work done against the main resistance torque some important point so when the turning moment is positive means when the engine torque is more than the min resisting torque as so on between the point b and b means this area b and b or we can say d d and e the crank accelerate and the work is done by the steam so this is the positive turning moment another point when the turning moment is negative so when the engine torque is less than the min resisting torque is so on in point between c and d means this the c and d and this the crank shaft retards and the work is done on the steam so this is the positive moment and this is negative moment so then the accelerating torque rating part of the engine equal to t minus t min so if t minus t min is positive the fly will accelerate and if t minus t min is negative then the fly will retards so this is the end of single cylinder double acting steam engine turning moment diagram so you can join engineering guru by subscribe this youtube channel also follow the fb page join us on telegram channel whatsapp channel and whatsapp group so if you find my video very helpful you can like comment share and subscribe my youtube channel stay on this channel more video will be come thank you so if you find my video very helpful you can like comment share and subscribe my youtube channel stay on this channel more video will be come thank you so if you find my video very helpful you can like comment share and subscribe my youtube channel stay on this channel more video will be come thank you